Hey everyone, my name is Vivek Saraswath. I'm the product manager for Universal Control Plane here at Docker. Universal Control Plane is our solution for managing enterprise grade applications securely at scale in a Docker containerized world. Uh, it consists of a number of different both open source components such as Swarm, our clustering schedule manager, and Docker Engine, uh, as well as several proprietary closed source components. In today's sets of videos, I'm going to go over several components of UCP, including a high-level overview of the architecture, how to do installation and joining of nodes, security in the form of uh, TLS and certificate authority, high availability for your deployment, access control for users and teams, and integration with Docker Trusted Registry. So now we'll talk a bit about the high-level architecture of Universal Control Plane. UCP is a management and orchestration solution that allows you to schedule groups of containers across a series of nodes. These nodes can be either physical nodes like servers, or they can be virtual machines running on premises or in a public cloud of your choice. In this example, we'll have three UCP nodes that can be physical or virtual. So if you're generally familiar with the way that Swarm works or other clustering managers, then you'll understand how scheduling is done in UCP. UCP begins with the UCP controller. The UCP controller is where all scheduling requests from the user, whether they are scheduling of containers, whether they are account management info, whether they're security info, all of that in a UCP deployment goes to the UCP controller. The UCP controller stands up its own swarm cluster, which then manages your nodes. This management is done through a container called the Swarm Manager. Now, it's really important to note that in UCP, the, you cannot bring in an existing Swarm Manager. You have to create Swarm Manager as part of the UCP controller process. This is to ensure that you have transport layer security, secure communications across your entire deployment. So the USB controller will start up its own Swarm Manager, which then connects the various nodes within your cluster. When you make a scheduling request as a user, this request goes to the USB controller, which then passes it off to the Swarm Manager once it understands your authentication credentials, and then schedules the containers from your request on one of the nodes within the cluster. Along with application containers, each UCP node contains two other containers. One is the UCP Swarm Join container. As in a standard open source Swarm deployment, this is the container that ensure, that provides a heartbeat mechanism to Swarm Manager and ensures that if the node goes down for whatever reason, the Swarm Manager knows not to schedule on this particular node. The second container is the UCP proxy. We mentioned before that UCP is secured entirely through TLS. Uh, the UCP proxy ensures that all of your communications have direct access to the socket. This is what ensures that you have secure comms across your entire cluster. In, as a part of the USB controller, we have several containers that add additional enterprise-grade functionality to the cluster. The first is the UCP key value store. This is a distributed key value store. In this case, currently in USB 1.0, we use etcd. The key value store holds the state of the cluster uh, and allows you to replicate it to a series of replicas of the controller, which we'll talk about more in the high availability section. But this allows you to maintain the state of the cluster, things like where containers are scheduled or your various user account credentials, so that if the controller goes down, they can be backed up on a series of these other controllers and the cluster maintains its viability. That's all held in the USB KV store. The two other important containers are the CA container, Certificate Authority. This is what ensures that your credentials are maintained throughout the cluster. There are two different containers involved here. One is the client CA, and the other is the cluster CA. The cluster CA provides internal certificate authority credentials within the cluster. This ensures that when the Swarm Manager sends a command to the UCP node, the UCP, the UCP node knows that this is the correct, uh, this is the authorized Swarm that is sending those commands. The client CA is used to provide uh, bundles and credentials for external users. So, for example, ensuring that you as a user are the right person able to access this deployment. Hope you enjoyed this one. Please check out the next video in the series.